Hey, what's up everybody? Got another review here for you today. And this one is not on a knife, it is actually on a CO2 pellet gun, a collector's edition. And as you can see by the signature here, it's a John Wayne edition or John Wayne licensed product. And I have the box that came in because it is a special box that this item came with too. This item had this box, I guess, created for it. I think now they sell this box uh, separately. So if you didn't want to just buy one, they used to display any of your John Wayne or Duke Colt products in for, usually those are made by Umerix or Umerix, however you want to say the name, uh, you can. But when this piece first came out, it was, uh, this box was the only way to come with it was, or the only way to get this box was to get this piece, which uh, this box came with that piece. So we'll open it up. And what I did is I left all the stuff that came inside it in here, just so you guys can see. Uh, air gun safety. Cautions and warnings, caliber to go in. And again, I just wanted to show all this so people know everything that came with it, in case they've never seen one of these before or what they should expect. All the registration stuff. Uh, instruction booklet, owner's operation manual, uh, you know, it has one of the standard Peacemaker models on there. It's a single action army replica. Obviously how to operate it. Don't return it to the store. Um, would never not, would never return this item. <laughs> this one's going to be in the collection for a long time. So there's that. And then uh, this came with it too, a brochure, uh, a tribute, Silver Screen Legends. It was obviously already passed, as you'll see. It was May 19th, 2018. But there's all that. All right, then you have this nice felt top interior. And pull this out. And we're getting closer. So, uh, single action army replica, and this is the special edition Duke Colt that's from the movie The Shootist. Now, The Shootist was the last movie that John Wayne made or uh, starred in. And this pistol here is made to be an exact replica of that and was hand engraved. I'm going to go over all the information for you because I'm going to read it off just so I don't mess in any, of, any of it up. But most of this video is going to be just showing you this piece because I haven't seen much on YouTube of these and there's only a hundred of them out there right now. So we'll take this out of here. And what I'll do is I'm going to set this off to the side, move the box out of the way, and then we'll take a closer look at it. Sorry for all the shakiness. I lower the camera down a little bit too, since we don't need to be as high up. And I think we can fit it all in there, yeah. All right, so uh, I have the paperwork right from Pyramid Air, which is where I ordered this from. I would highly recommend them. They've always been very good to work with. Uh, they always have different specials going on and discounts and coupons and things like that of different seasons. So you can get uh, pretty good deals there and they have a really wide offering. I believe they're based out in Ohio. So, you know, feel free to reach out to them for any air gun, pellet gun, BB gun needs. So this was everything from their site. I'm gonna just read it to you. Uh, because I think it is pretty interesting and I flip the gun over so you can look at the other side too while I do that. So here's all the specs on it. Engraved Duke Colt Single Action Army CO2 Pellet Revolver Blued Shootist Limited Edition. Only a hundred engraved models made. Hand engraved by legendary engraver Conrad Anderson out of Rock Tree Ranch Enterprises. Tea stain grips just like in the Shootist. 12 gram CO2 cartridge, that's actually inside the grips here. These open up and the CO2 goes in there. Six round cylinder, blade front sight, notch rear sight, synthetic ivory grip panels featuring John Wayne medallion. There's the medallion. 
single action only, manual safety, working ejector rod, blued finish, six shells. Each shell is loaded with only one pellet, so once you take the shells out, you'll see you put a pellet in the shell. That's how you load it. Includes commemorative wood display case, as I already mentioned. The Shootist Limited Edition Hand Engraved Peacemaker Pistols numbered 1 through 100. Now hopefully I remember where they've numbered these on so I can show you which number I have. Uh, there's a more information here, but basically it says be one of the only 100 fortunate collectors and add it to your collection today. Proud to display it in a commemorative case. And then there's a lot of information about the John Wayne licensing and the caliber 0 .11, 0 .177 caliber pellets, CO2 to fire. So, hopefully from a spec standpoint that covers everything, it's a metal frame, but you can see that uh, everything on here has been hand engraved as far as the metal goes, hand engraved, sorry. And my whole goal of this video is just to do really a close up view of everything. So I know that was a lot of talking, probably not gonna do much talking after this, just so you can see everything on here. Uh, I don't know if that's the numbering there. Yeah, there we go. So I found it. So this is number 70 of 100. There's obviously a regular serial number on here somewhere from the actual production that Umarex did of this. But this is 70 of 100 as far as the ones that Conrad Anderson engraved. And it is just gorgeous. It's a really dark blued metal on here. Uh, hopefully with the lighting system I have, you can see some of the different... Uh, looks of it. I mean, it's almost black how they did this, but it just is gorgeous. These grips too, if you haven't seen the regular white ivory grips that are on these, uh, which not real ivory, it's obviously a composite or a plastic type material, ABS type material. Uh, but this has that tea staining to it, and it really looks pretty authentic until you actually, you know, pick it up and feel it. Uh, but just a beautiful look to this thing and I was so happy that I was able to get it on the pre-order. It took a long time to get this in, the original pre-order, I don't even remember when the, the date was on it, but it was a waiting time anyways. I think it was like a three or four month time from when you pre-ordered it. It ended up taking over a year, I believe, to come in. I just stayed patient and I had my order in and I got it. See there's the Colt emblem. Again, I believe this is licensed by Colt as well, or else they wouldn't have that on there. And then all this is just hand engraved by Mr. Conrad Anderson out of Rock Tree Ranch Enterprises. The knurling chimping there. Uh, this is not loaded. There's no CO2 in here. Uh, there are obviously the shells in here, but there's no BBs inside the shells. I'll show you the action on it. I'm going to try not to actually dry fire it that much because it is a, a collector's item. But I did want you to see the action. And then if you do hold the trigger in, you can have the hammer go all the way. But these are noted, it's not the hammer that actually fires it. It would obviously be the CO2 in here. So that's why they always look like they're partially cocked. Uh, single action army. So you do one click back. And that's how you can then rotate the barrel. And then the ejector rod is, I'm going to put my finger on the shell so it doesn't fall out, right here. So you'll see I'll push that. The shell comes out. And I will take this one just so you can see it. That's where the pellet would go. And then right in. And you're ready to go. So really happy to have this. Very pleased with the engraving on here. Um, my grandfather <clears throat> was a very big John Wayne fan. He had a lot of John Wayne memorabilia. Not, not a ton, but a decent amount. And uh, his son, my uncle, was a very big John Wayne fan too. And when I saw this, I just thought it would be an a excellent piece. Obviously one for me to have in you know, my collection, but again, it reminds me of my grandfather and my uncle. 
And uh, The Shootist is such an amazing film, too. I would definitely recommend you guys check that out. A lot of big people in it. I think Lauren Bacall, John Wayne, um, guy for Happy Days uh, in it, so uh, Ron Howard. Very good film, you know, and it, it, it's really interesting because the film mirrors a lot of John Wayne. It's going back and harking back to him as a young man and his glory days, and then really him where he is now, kind of towards the end of his life, winding down, um, this kind of famed old gunslinger, you know. So, again, I'm just going to show you some more close-ups of it. This is the safety here. Obviously, wouldn't be on a real uh, version of this firearm, uh, but this being a pellet gun, that's the required safety. But I think they picked a great spot to put it because you really don't notice it any other way or any other in any other viewpoint from here. Give you a close up of the medallion. Flip this over so you can see what's on here. Licensed trademark of Colts Manufacturing Company. Again, the uh, CO2 goes behind the handles. You can look at any other uh, video on the Colts or the Dukes single action or Peacemaker guns by Umarex and see this opening up again. I, I like to do very little with this as far as taking it apart or messing with it just because it is such a collector's piece. Oh yeah, there's the uh, signature. John Wayne on the back. Medallion on the reverse side. I'll give you a look again at the sight. And then again at the action. And even the jeweling on the hammer itself. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully it was a good look at this piece. Again, I hadn't seen any other videos online about it, so I wanted to get one out there. Uh, people were interested. And I would say any time that these limited edition or collector edition engraved versions of these come out, it is you know a lot more expensive or quite a bit more expensive to get the engraved versions than the standards. You know, I think the standard basic Duke single action CO2 pistol goes for around between 120, 150. Um, these obviously go up quite a bit with the custom engraving, but it's just such a neat item to have. And again, me being a collector, I love having exclusivity in a limited edition type piece. And this being one of a hundred, very, very cool. So feel free to reach out with any questions, comments. Uh, always put them down in the description or in the box below for uh, notes. Always happy to interact with you guys. But hopefully this was a cool, interesting look at this. Um, beyond everything else, the only other thing that the box came in was a basic white Indestructo corrugated box. And the only printing on that was SBX-Box, which I'm thinking is just the item number for that actual corrugated box. So you guys saw basically everything that came with this. And we'll take this up to the 15 minute mark with just doing, again, some macro views of the pistol. Thank you guys and take care.